Hi everyone, it's Michael from MDO Video, and I'm here to show you today how to install a blue tube UV air cleaner light inside your air handler unit in an attic. Basically, what I gotta do here first is I've got to take the cover off. I got a new DeWalt. Got a light on it. Take our screws off. I'll pull my pull disconnect out. Pull safety tip, pull power. Pull power to your unit. And that comes off. And uh then we're gonna open it up. Then we're gonna check for voltage. And that's gonna be it. a Goodman air handler. Put that cover down right there. So what we got here is we got our capacitor, as you can see, and we got our uh, evaporator coil is over here, and we got our wiring. So I'm going to uh, turn on my multimeter, and, uh, and I'm going to check it see if we got 240. I know I cut the power off, but I'm just going to see if we got voltage on here. Okay. Okay. Good. No voltage. So that's good. We're good to go on our power's off. Let's, uh, we got a little problem here now. We got our line sets coming in. No insulation. We got a, a filter dryer. And what we got to do here is, oh lord, oh lord, okay, okay, all right, I don't know what that black crap is all over that thing, oh, hopefully this UV light will kill it, <laughs> nasty stuff, yeah, oh yeah, we got to do for a board in here, I'll show y'all that later, what we got to do here is there's a cover, Take off our okay, there we go. Right, okay. Right where we need to be. Okay, guys. So what we got here is we got a, a evaporator coil. What this does is it takes a refrigerant and it it uh fixes it so that it changes it into a, a, hot, a vapor and cools it down and it looks like we've got fixed bore metering device no TXV we got a three quarter oh, that is nasty that's gotta be clean and we got a uh, three eighths we got a three eighths I'm sorry y'all I get nervous on video okay and then we got our uh, switch float switch here for everything so what we need to do here is Oh, I see where the light needs to go. Okay, we're going to put our light in here. Um, and I'm going to get my hole saw bit here. And... And I'm going to go get the template for the uh, thing in part two. And we are going to drill the hole.